Hello everybody, it's Stacey here, one of the therapists from With Kids. Hope you're all doing all right. Um, today I'm here to share with you a drawing activity that I really enjoy. It's called the Squiggle Game. It's a really good activity for when you're a bit stuck with what to draw and you've got a kind of blank sheet of paper that can be a bit scary sometimes. Um, so all you need is some paper, some pens and we can get started. Okay, so here we are ready to go. I've got a few different colour pens and I've also got some paper as well and you can go ahead and choose one of your pens to make your squiggle. So you can maybe even close your eyes or look away and um, so you don't know what shapes you're making. So I think I'm going to start up here. stop there I think. Okay, so the next part is you want to choose a new colour of pen. See if you can see any shapes. You might want to even turn your paper upside down or a different way. Can you see anything in your picture? Ah, I think I can see a balloon up here. You can go ahead and take your pen and draw the balloon. Maybe a big long tail coming down here, I think. Maybe. Okay, so I've got my balloon. And you can go see if you can see any shapes in your picture too. So we'll meet back here. I'll continue with filling in my shapes and we'll see how we've gotten on. So after I found my balloon, I saw the shape of a house. So I went ahead and put some windows and a door and the roof and the chimney and a little garden. And then I saw a kind of shape of a love heart over here. And then this one, you might be able to see a giant cupcake over here. I wonder what kind of shapes you found in your picture. Another way to play this game is maybe just get a new piece of paper to do some little mini squiggles. So you can again close your eyes or look away, get your pen and do some little mini squiggles. Okay. One over here, one over here, one over here. You can see if you can see any pictures, any shapes. Aha, I think I can see a snake slithering all the way up here. I give them a nose and a mouth and a tongue. I might even give them some stripes. Okay, so same again. Let's go see what we can find in our little squiggles too. And we'll meet back here. Okay, I wonder what kind of shapes you found in your mini squiggles. After my snake, I thought this kind of reminded me of a juice carton. And then down here, I found this one sort of reminded me of a mouth. So I added a dinosaur's head with a tiny little body. And then in this corner, another creature. I found a jellyfish. Okay. So that is two ways that you can play the squiggle game and I hope you enjoyed them. Another way is to ask someone in your house to join you. So you both have to draw a squiggle and then swap pieces of paper and see if you can find some other shapes in someone else's drawing. I hope you got on okay with my versions of the squiggle game and you managed to create some weird and wonderful shapes. For parents, it's a really good way um, to check in with your child as well. To manage to kind of sit down and draw alongside them can be really nice. Um, so I hope you can manage to have it a go. And thank you for watching. I shall see you next time. Thanks, bye.